How you doing? www.andrewmarkmusic.com uh, Just want to give some thoughts today on uh, Sargon of Azhat's uh, post, his video on commentary on uh, an anarcho-communist uh, squatting camp in California. <clears throat> Okay, like, I get that it's kind of funny, you know, <clears throat> and, but it, to me, it's duplicitous, you know, I mean, um, I'm not without a sense of humor, and, uh, but I, I can't take that kind of video seriously. <clears throat> now, first off, I want to say that as far as Marx is concerned, um, in, in my opinion, it's been a bloodbath you know, for well over a hundred years, when you factor in, you know, what happened in Russia, what happened in China, uh, the, the, the body counts make Hitler look like a Sunday school teacher. <clears throat> so, uh, the first, you know, straw man that's going to come at me here, eh, no, <laughs> sorry, you're going to have to do better than that. <clears throat> Um, anyway, the, uh, you know, it's, I like the guy. I mean, he, you know, he, he's, he, he has a, he has an interesting format and a, and a good voice, but in my opinion, anybody who's anybody is vetted by the gatekeepers. <clears throat> and, uh, this isn't a video for me to get into that, but to, you know, I think we probably know all know who they are. Um, so, uh, you know, I guess what, uh, what I'm going to say here is, is, I mean, he, he likes to think he's coming from the point of, of, of liberalism, but I don't really think he, I, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt that he understands it, but he's, he's not really being honest about it, in my opinion. <clears throat> Um, you know, I guess you could say, if you wanted to argue that, that, uh, this is, you know, uh, a Leslie Fair, uh, free market, um, and you were willing to say that that's what we live under, then, then I think you would, it would be a consistent argument. Really? You think that's what we live under? <laughs> We couldn't be further from liberalism than we are today. Uh, we live under a uh, uh, state-run corporate empire, okay? There's no democracy here. There's no liberalism. It's, uh, it's top-down fascism. <clears throat> now, oh, I know, I know, the, the, whether Richard Shermer or Sargon... <clears throat> um, it's, everything's just bloody roses, you know, things have never been better in the known universe. <clears throat> I mean, if I was to analyze that through an integral lens, I would say that that people like uh, Shermer and Sargon only want to to pick up the colors that uh, 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 that just paint modernity uh, in such a dignified way. And in Wilbur speak, you know, they don't want to pick up the colors that, that talk about the disasters. And in my opinion, the disasters far outweigh the dignities of modernity. <clears throat> and to not talk about them and to not acknowledge them, um, well, this goes back to the gatekeeper theory, <clears throat> you know, and, and, and why, why you wouldn't uh, acknowledge the obvious <clears throat> now. Um, liberalism, in theory, it's supposed to protect freedom uh, of, of, of speech, um, liberty, you know, that we're allowed to, that the state would, uh, you know, place a high priority on those ideas. But what we have, especially since 9-11, is the exact inversion of that. You know, we have... We have this uh, again, this this fascist like um, uh, political correctness um, posing as wisdom, uh, and 
a, a mass surveillance state, you know. Now, one of the avenues of liberalism in the past 500 years was to to sort of uh, free ourselves from, you know, toxic monarchies and, and this uh, divine right to rule. But certainly since 9-11, <clears throat> that's been completely inverted, too. Um, and the present divine rulers or the, the present monarchy who are ruling by divine right, a, a.k.a. the the corporate oligarchy, <clears throat> they make these old kings and queens, again, look like Sunday school preachers, you know. <clears throat> so, you know, I mean, yes... Maybe, maybe from the years 1950 to 1970, if I was listening to Sargon, I would go, yes, you got it. You, you've totally got it right. But certainly since the advent of the Chicago School of Economic Theories, neoliberalism as it spread its tentacles uh, around the globe, uh, the, the, uh, what, when you combine neoliberal theory with the Viet currency economics, you have uh, environmental disaster. And this is something that the skeptic atheists just dismiss. It's, you know, uh, the, the magnitude of the dismissal is kind of shocking, you know, especially in light of thousands and thousands and thousands of scientists going, hey, you know, <laughs> This is a problem. And from, from my perspective, the, the, the biggest epic fail of Sargon and liberalism today is this particular aspect of liberalism. If he really believes that it's a good idea for 10 billion people in the coming century to be able to do whatever they want, whenever they want, uh, then he's been blinded so much by the money someone's paying him that it, it's hard to even fathom the uh, cognitive dissonance or duplicity involved in that. So now we'll just get to, you know, his his deconstruction of that, you know, very sort of humorous video. Now, it's hard to take that video seriously. You know, does does any thinking person as far as trying to solve the complex issues on this planet, if anyone really believes that, you know, these little um, lawless hippie enclaves um, where they're enacting a certain version of anarchist thought is the solution to, you know, 10 billion people living uh, sane ecological lives on this planet. I mean... <laughs> It's hard, hard to fathom the retardedness of that, you know. Um, so, but if you were to take the ideas seriously as far as um, implementing uh, a type of anarchist communal living at its best, at its most profound, you therein might find a solution and a compromise and... I offer it up in, in my uh, global common civilization where there's four pillars that um, at least for 100 years under a climate emergency, um, by law, the capitalists would be forbidden to coerce and exploit housing, food, education, and health care. And they would force to become creative as far as their entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneurial endeavors <clears throat> and gain capital in a st stripped down system, a commercial system, um, where, you know, hopefully the focus would be on trying to solve, you know, enormous complex problems. Um, so that would be sort of uh, my version of a of an anarcho communist uh, civilization. Now, the the key point of it is it needs to be voluntary. 
it needs to be framed in a way that it gives as much as many people as much uh, choice as possible. And the only way to do that is is to be honest uh, with people and say, look at this this present trajectory is a disaster. And and Sargon doesn't want to seem to to acknowledge that. He he has this rose colored vision of society. Um, for some reason, he also doesn't seem to want to concede that this beautiful society that he lives in is looking more and more like techno fascism, you know. And all you have to do is look at Agenda 2030 and see what these billionaires are up to, you know. Look at James Corbett's uh, sustainability um, video. So, not sure why he's dismissing that. But uh, anyway, I, I could go on and on about this. I mean, I understand that that liberalism is, uh, you know, a nuanced and complex uh, subject. But some of the basic premises of it aren't that difficult to grasp. And if you really believe that we're living under liberalism today, in any conventional sense, then I think you're just lying to yourself. And I'm not sure why why he would be doing this. You know, um, I can only speculate that that there's some kind of gatekeeping function that he's serving. You know, anyway, www.andrewmarkmusic.com on uh, Sargon of Asshat's uh, rather humorous but lame uh, post on anarcho-communism. Peace, peace out, peace the fuck out.